Uh, today I'm going to talk about plant synteny at gramin.org. Um, so first, what is plant synteny? What is synteny? Um, synteny is a term used to pres uh, describe this uh, phenomenon in evolution where when two species diverge, a long time ago or a whole genome duplication event happened a long time ago. Uh, at the modern genomes, <coughs> we can still identify these uh, regions in the genome where the ancestral order of the genes or functional elements has been preserved across the species or within the duplicated segments of the same species. This indicates two things. The first is these uh, genes or functional elements uh, is somehow functionally linked, um, thus they are underwent uh, selection pressure to preserve the ancestral order. Or this simply means that the event has happened not very long time ago in the evolutionary sense that evolution hasn't got enough time to scramble the orders. Compared with animal genomes, uh, plant genomes present a more, more challenging and difficult problem in synteny detection due to the frequent genome duplications and the rearrangement events. To better understand the synteny, here uh, I'm comparing two con concepts here, uh, synteny blocks and homologous region. First, synteny blocks are usually, ho are of course, homologous regions, uh, but they are usually large homologous regions. Um, synteny blocks are usually referred to in the context of functional uh, elements such as uh, synthetic genes. And uh, a homologous region is uh, more broader uh, or considered as a superset of synteny. It simply means there are sequence similarity at DNA level which indicate some kind of common ancestor in the origin of these sequences. So they could be small or large and they could contain genes or no genes. In Gramin, we use two approaches to uh, detect synteny blocks. The first approach is a gene or protein-based um, synteny build. Uh, the second approach is a DNA-based uh, alignment. Um, in the first approach, um, the unit of operation is uh, genes. Um, we use orthologs or homologs across um, species or duplicated segments uh, trying to identify the maximum uh, region that showed collinear order of the orthologs or homologs across the species. Um, in terms of implement implementation of this method, we use a published program called DAG Channel, um, which uses a dynamic programming algorithm and uh, a, a sophisticated scoring formula to search in the genomes to look for the optimal and the maximum region with collinear gene orders. Um, in the second approach, which is DNA-based, we use an uh, ensemble-developed pipeline called pairwise whole genome alignment. Uh, this method is based on a paper from Kent uh, where there are three steps. The first step is uh, last Z alignment, which is a uh, gap-based BLAST-Z algorithm uh, that perform a large-scale genome-to-genome -genome alignments to detect sequence similarities uh, between two genomes, followed by a chaining process which enlarges the, connects the homologous uh, regions to even bigger uh, long-range uh, blocks that uh, shows a collinear uh, order. And the last step is NET which is simply cluster the chains and order them. Um, up until uh, the most recent release, uh, Gramin release uh, 52, uh, we have conducted a gene-based synteny build across 60, uh, 46 pairs of genomes and uh, whole genome alignments across 125 pairs of genomes. Um, this table summarizes uh, the gene-based synteny build uh, from Gramin and uh, the total number of synthetic blocks uh, calculated from each pair. 
All these data are stored in Grameen database and can be visualized from Grameen genome browser. There are three views uh, related to Synteny data. There are Synteny views, uh, region in detailed view, and the region comparison view. The first two views are based on gene-centered build, and the last view is based on whole genome alignment. Now I'm going to uh, talk about um, in more detail each of the views. First is synteny view. This view is based on a uh, synteny-centered uh, uh, gene-centered synteny data, and uh, it gives a global chromosome level uh, landscape of. Uh, uh, chromosome of the species of interest to another genome. So at each time it shows a one-to-one -one genome relation. Uh, in this example, the chromosome in the center, which is the chromosome of interest, is sorghum chromosome 1. The chromosomes on the sides are chromosomes from rice, japonica. Um, the color indicates the same Synteny block. Um, so in this view, we can tell that uh, the top and the bottom quarter of the sorghum chromosome one is syn shows synteny to rice chromosome three. Well, the paracentromeric region shows synteny to the distal um, regions of uh, chromosome rice chromosome ten arms. The lines link. The lines links each individual synthetic block uh, with the color indicates the orientation. The black means the same orientation, and the brown indicates uh, opposite orientation. Um, the next view is region in detail view. It basically serves the same type of data, which are syn uh, gene based synteny build. Um, however, it shows a more local view, in this case a 2 megabase region of sorghum chromosome 1. And uh, however, uh, in addition to 1 to 1, it can show 1 to many genome relations. As is laid out in this example, uh, we can uh, see there are synteny regions in three other genomes, uh, brachypodium, rice and uh, maize. Lastly, um, the region comparison view. Uh, this view is based on whole genome alignment data. It also shows a local view, and it can present a one-to-many relationship. In this case, we use sorghum as the reference genome. It has been compared pairwisely to uh, Rhabdopsis genome, uh, or Rhizo certified Japonica genome, Soterio genome, and uh, maize genome. So when stack um, uh, the pairwise alignments together with uh, sorghum as the glue in the middle, we can see there is a synteny across all the five, all these five genomes. The green shades indicate um, similarity or alignments between the DNA, <coughs> and uh, the pink um, boxes. <coughs> indicates the uh, enlarged chain of the um, aligned region. And the blue lines links or join homologous genes across the species. Now, um, I'm going to show you a pre-recorded video to demonstrate how you can access each of those views. So here at the Grammy homepage. <coughs> so by click this uh, genome picture, we can go to the genome browser page and uh, select the species of interest, sorghum. Go to location view by collect, collect, collecting the example region icon. Here we can access all three views uh, we mentioned earlier. Synteny view is the first we are going to explore. And you can choose um, other species from here to compare. Okay. 
and it also lists the homologous region uh, genes in this region. Now we can go to region in detail view. To configure the synteny track, you go to the setting and then click the synteny and then enable the synthetic tracks. Now we can see there are three synteny um, regions show here. And lastly, click the region comparison and uh, select species, select species of interest. And we come to the, the region comparison view. And uh, in to customize it, you can configure the image to show the joint gene. Find the comparative feature tool and uh, click the join gene box. And uh, there you have the homologous genes linked on the view. <coughs> All these views can be exported to different uh, format. You simply go to the upper left corner of the, of the view of the figure and uh, click export this image. And then you can save them into the files to a local disk. So scrolling up, uh, you can get a global view or an idea on the location of this um, pairwise, uh, pairwise alignment. Where are they located in um, the genome of the respective species? That concludes our video and um, the introduction to um, synteny data in Grameen and how to visualize them. I hope uh, it um, will help you um, um, advance uh, your research and uh, thank you for your attention.